Let, let's go back to the issue of corruption. You said those were just allegations. Yes. But I'd like to know, how did he make his wealth? How did he make this so much very big wealth that he can afford the bullion van prior to an election in his home? That's a staggering, colossal yeah. amount of wealth. How did that wealth come about? Because I think if I check his resume, the last thing I saw was a counter with mobile. You know, what, what business does, does he do? He's been in government for a while. How did he make that wealth? That's one. Two, there's been discrepancies about his age. I ask you, how old is he? Uh, well, let, let me tell you, you see, uh, these this, this two questions you've just uh, posed, uh, it's part of what I have answered earlier. I think at this point that we've got into, our emphasis should be on the pedigree of this candidate, what he has demonstrated that he has done, what he has achieved, how he has changed the revenue of Lagos State, how he has put a long-term plan to implement infrastructure. Honorable infrastructure. Honorable how he has ensured that he instilled discipline. Honorable Jibril. How much people that he has built. Honorable Jibril. These are the focus that we should concentrate on. Honorable Jibril. Because most of these political issues that we keep raising front and back will not solve the problem. So the emphasis now, the focus now, should be on the capacity and the competence okay. of this candidate. Honorable Jibril, how did Bola Metinubu make yes. his money? That's all I want to know. You can tell me and what we can focus on. And, and we'll talk why, about it in the manifesto. How did Bola Tinubu make so much money that he had a bullion van in his home on election day? And how old well, is he? Those are the questions the well, people are uh, asking out there. How old is he? Well, how did he I'm make also, the billions? I'm also putting it... I'm also now, you've asked your question clearly, and I will give you a simple and clear answer. And, now, and, as, and when you continue to repeat the question, you will get the same answer. These are all trash from the internet that people keep putting it together, and we will not elevate such conversations. But when the campaign commences, we will bring out facts and figures and put before Nigerians. But we will not create a narrative for them. So for now, the emphasis is on the competence of the candidate, what he has achieved, the network he has built, the people he has invested in, and his plan for a better Nigeria. All right. Uh, can, can I ask you this? How was this trash? Bullion Van was found in his home. The pictures were viral and there's been no denial. So how are you saying that is trash? And how is it trash that we want to know how the person that will lead Nigeria made so much wealth? You know, and also the declaration of being richer than also is state. So how is that's not trash? What? How did he make his money? That's all I want to know. And tell me how old he is so I can take you by something. Because there's been discrepancies, too, by the people of his age and his wealth. It's just a question I'm asking. Please. And, and, and the Rafai is just an answer that I'm giving you as well. You see, un unfortunately, you are posing the question as a journalist. What will satisfy you is when I say things the way you want me to say it. So you don't want to respect my own response. And I think okay. it is unfair okay. and probably very unprofessional. Okay, because the brain. response is simple. We've raised, we've, raised, we've raised issues here about corruptions. I gave instance with even Ruben Abati himself. And I gave several instances of a lot of politicians in Nigeria where you will see stuff like this on the internet. Well, and we said we are not going to elevate such conversation, and we will not. Okay, Honorable so Jibrin. if you put the question before me 100 times, I will not.